Hello. In this video, what I'd like to have a look at is um, filtering and a different way you can achieve maybe a nicer um, experience with slices in your report. Um, so as you can see by this page we have right here, I have quite a large blank space at the bottom of my page. Why is that? Well, I want to display and compare different um, footballers against one another, their performance. And if I were to have everything on the page, it would be 530 footballers, which is, which is too many. Um, so what I wanted to do was only show those which I have selected. So of course, ordinarily, when you use a slicer, you're slicing. Um, so if you select nothing, it shows everything. And then the slicer then slices down to those that you want to see. So this way, we're not really slicing down to what we want to see, but while, rather we're slicing up from, from nothing. Uh, a quick example of what I'm talking about is if I click on the first value and I can see then this person appears. If I then want to compare that person to somebody else, I click on the next footballer or the next value, and then that appears as well. And then so on. The more I pick, the more this visualization is going to display. See, now I've selected six, and for me, that's already too many. Yeah, it kind of starts to lose a value as to what's what. Um, so yeah. How, how do we achieve that, this cleaner way of um, looking at our data? Uh, luckily, it's very straightforward with just three or four lines of, um, of DAX. So we can uh, jump to that now. And it is here. So this is the same thing. This is my PBIX of what you just saw as the published report. So first of all, you can see here, we have a, um, a slicer on this visual, and the slicer is saying is one. Interesting. Let's investigate what that is all about. So I click on the um, on the measure, which serves as the slicer, and as promised, you can see nice and um, nice and straightforward. So what are we looking at? What are we saying? And the most important part here is it is filtered. We're basically saying, is it filtered? The is filtered will return like a true or false if it's if it's filtered or not. And we're saying, if it's filtered, then give me a one. If it isn't filtered, give me a zero. So as you can see here, we have this one. That is our one, essentially. If it's filtered, give me a one. And I'm saying in the visualization, only show items when this question essentially is a one. So if it's filtered, then give me a one. And just to display what I mean, if I remove this filter from the visualization, you can immediately see that's what I'm getting. And this is your more standard experience, right? Because now I'm at this point, it works in the same way. However, when I remove that slicer, you get that big mess and that's horrible. It's really not nice to look at. So if you can use that little bit of DAX, that little trick, cheat, whatever you want to call it, which is simply this, if it's filtered, then of course you need to use your um, table and your column name. If this column of this table is filtered, give me a one, I'll zero. And then you use your all, select, all selected from the same the same table. That's it. Um, very small bit of code. Very, um, for me, big benefit in this situation because it really does help create a cleaner experience. I understand that in general, it's not desired to have a huge blank bit of space, but when that serves purpose and um, when it has this this result, I'm I'm all for that, and it allows you to do uh, some pretty 
yeah, nice analysis and um, stops your report from looking all messy and whatnot. That's it. So again, what we're going to do, spit a DAX. We use that DAX as a filter in the visual visualization you want to affect. So again, this one. So I've used this measure as a filter on this visual. And I've said, if this is one, apply filter. And it works. Wonderful. Hope that helped. Um, hope I explained it correctly. It seems like um, very quick explanation, but it's not a complex thing to be quite honest. And um, I would really highly recommend that you use that if you have a situation where you know you have lots of values and you don't want to split them all simultaneously. Yeah. Cool. Um, let me know if you have a different way of doing it. There are a couple of ways of achieving that, and I know. And I know maybe it's not the best to use the filter on the visualization. Um, but yeah, just um, write me a message, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you want to let me know what you think. And um, I'll say this for the first time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, take care. And I shall see you somewhere online or in another video soon enough. Bye bye.